And it's Sir Bovenizer who joins. Was, was that a good link? No, that's awful. <laughs> That was terrible. I'll never be Sir Alex. Uh, l- let's rewind. I call. I'm not a member of, of British Isles. I'm, I'm an Irish person. I'll never be allowed to be Sir. Oh, oh, are you not? Don't ask me about constitutional affairs. I'm completely lost on this one. Well, I don't think so. Oh, it's it's, it's oh, honorary, you, isn't it? Because Sir Bob is not Sir. He's just called Sir Bob, isn't he? You've got one of those passports that everyone wants to get hold of before Brexit, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. yeah. OK, yeah. we'll have to chat about that later. Yeah, um, my son has asked me for one. Uh, can, can he not get one? I've no but idea. He can. Yes, he can, because oh. I was born in, in Ireland, um, so he's getting one. What if you adopt me? Would that work? Yeah, of course. Oh, brilliant. There we go. Get myself an Irish passport. That's me sorted. Just look forward to seeing you call me dad. <laughs> no, that's never happened. Oh, oh, that's just weird. Right, let's talk ARGB and let's talk veterinary stuff. Oh, dear. Um, I don't know if I can after that. That's mm. sort of... Yeah, we were we were discussing <laughs> what we were going to talk about this afternoon, and uh, you were talking about how the the colder, the damper weather is coming, and well, it's gorgeous out there today. Isn't I know it? this wasn't exactly the best topic for you to pick. It was cold it really? this morning though. It was five degrees on the mountain this morning. I thought it was a good thing to talk about, and now it's fifteen degree now. Well, arthritis we're going to talk about, aren't we? Arthritis, yes. Mm. Now, um, obviously, we know for well how uh, humans suffer from this. Let's talk about um, animals and. Is it is there certain types of animals that are, are more susceptible to arthritis than no, others? Any animal is is susceptible to arthritis. Um, cats get it, and they're a lot smaller than some big dogs. A bit of a stupid thing to say, <laughs> isn't it? You get what I mean. He's a qualified. Um, he's a qualified vet, you know. I promise. It it goes right across the whole the whole range of of sizes in in animals from cats, small dogs, right up to big dogs. Obviously, larger dogs are more prone to it. Um, dogs that put on weight are even more prone to it, but but it can strike any animal. And, and in fact, it's probably only in the last five, ten years that we've appreciated that cats do get it quite a lot. And we've started treating that as well. Um, pretty much get it the same way as people, although they don't sort of sit around and groan and give out. So as an owner, what you've got to look out for is, is a change in how your pet behaves. And it may be the obvious where it's limping. Um, or maybe that it's just slowing down a little bit and, you know, where they used to bounce out to go on a walk, now they're not that keen. Or if you bring them out in the car, they may not jump into the back of the car or they find the stairs difficult. There's all sorts of things. And, and what we always say is, is absolutely in the medical side, your vet is the expert, but you're the expert in your animal. You know your animal the best and you, you can see the subtle changes that maybe we don't always see. Um, Cats are a little bit more difficult because we're not used to them. We don't take them out for a walk. Well, I know some people used to take their cats out for a walk. And I have a cat at home that comes for a walk with me when I take the dog out. Um, but generally they don't. So with cats, it's maybe they used to jump up on the counter to get some food or, or things like that. Just look for changes. And we do talk a lot in society in general about always sorting out the problems of this. So, you know, um, uh, watch out for the symptoms of arthritis in your animal. Preventative. Let's go, go wind back. And if you're maybe a new pet owner um, mm-hmm. or you've got a young pet, um, what sort of steps can you take to possibly either not ensure they don't get arthritis because it might be you know a foregone conclusion, but you know to yeah, slow it down? To help it. Okay, there's a couple of things to do. Um, firstly, as I've already mentioned, weight. Uh, carrying extra weight will make your pet more likely to be arthritis. So our body's made to take a certain amount of weight. It's just like a machine. And if you add extra weight onto that, you're, you're putting extra stress on the joints. So therefore, they're more likely to become arthritic. If they have an accident, so you may know about that, they're more likely to get it. Whoops. Um, I don't know why I wave my hands about the radio anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Mike. It, it looks uh, great on the video afterwards, don't oh, worry. Oh, good. Well, as long as it looks good somewhere, Alex, that's <laughs> fine. Um, so if they have an accident or a fall, that's that's worthwhile doing. If you've got a big dog that you know is, is prone to arthritis, so like a Labrador or a German Shepherd are the two big ones that we would see a lot of, you can use some of the nutraceuticals. Um, so that's glucosamine, chondritin, and there's a few other bits and pieces out there. A word of warning with that, it, it is not a very well-controlled market. So what is written on the box is not always necessarily what's in the box. So make sure you do your research. Um, We stock ones, obviously, vets will stock ones that they have trust in, that they know the manufacturers that they're comfortable with, so they know what it says on the box is what's in it. So some people may try them for the dog and say, well, they don't work, and maybe just the one they're using is not. 
you get what you pay for. Like a lot of things in life, Alex, you get what you pay for. Um, but they can be really, really good at slowing down the progression. That They help, without going into the technicalities of how arthritis works, they help build up the layers in the joint that slow down arthritis. And if people want to get in touch with you at uh, Argaby and uh, maybe for some advice or maybe for they're looking for those kind of products or they've got an animal that's suffering from arthritis and uh, you may be able to help them out with some palliative treatment, how do they get in touch with you? Well, they can ring us, 622-259 um, in Onk and our 812208 in Ramsey. Um, Facebook, just search for Arg Bean on Facebook and the website, which is www.iomvet.co.uk. Um, and we've, we've a range of treatments for it, so we're not just throwing medicine at it. We've, we've got a hydrotherapy pool. We've got our class four laser, um, which all work to help deal with the problem. So we don't just throw pills at it and hope it works that there's a whole load of different ways so come and speak to us don't think oh i don't want my dog to go on drugs because there's lots of different ways to deal with it now and uh, finally of course uh, back to the beginning if, if anyone's interested in being adopted by you you know can they get in touch <laughs> with you as well or or, or or are applications closed for that now applications <laughs> I've, I've got one child away in university another <laughs> looking at university so I'm, I'm afraid that yeah that the coffers are empty with regards to adopting anymore unless they come with a diary <laughs> I, I thought you might say that yeah <laughs> 